let's say that the real essence of consciousness is non-physical. Um, we, we, have, we have got sort of rooted into us by our society the notion that consciousness is, is generated by the brain. What if the most fundamental thing in our universe isn't matter or energy, but consciousness itself? Top quantum physicist Max Planck once declared, Consciousness is fundamental. I regard matter as derivative from consciousness. Recent breakthroughs in quantum physics are overturning our entire understanding of reality, suggesting the physical world is merely a projection of something far deeper. Quantum entanglement shows particles influencing each other instantly across vast distances, breaking the rules of our physical world completely. Stay with us, because in just a few minutes we'll reveal how quantum computers are performing calculations that would be impossible in our physical universe alone. Quantum computing beyond space-time. Quantum computers have just revealed something that should be physically impossible. They're performing calculations that would require more processing power than every atom in our observable universe combined. This isn't a theoretical idea. It's happening right now in quantum computing labs around the world. And it's forcing physicists to question the very nature of reality. David Deutsch, the father of quantum computing, poses a question that mainstream science can't answer. How can Shor's algorithm factor large numbers using 10 to the 500th power computational resources when our visible universe has only 10 to the 80th atoms? Where exactly was the number factorized? Think about that for a moment. That's not just slightly more processing power. It's exponentially beyond what should be physically possible in our universe. The revolutionary answer? These quantum calculations are happening outside our normal space-time. The quantum realm isn't bound by the same physical constraints as our everyday world. According to the many worlds interpretation, quantum computers aren't just clever machines. They're actually tapping into parallel realities leveraging resources from multiple universes simultaneously. When you run a quantum algorithm, the qubits are quite literally processing across multiple planes of existence. Your laptop computes in a single reality, but quantum computers harness the power of infinite parallel universes, accessing computational resources that shouldn't exist in our physical universe alone. This shatters the materialist worldview completely. It's not just a new technology, it's proof that reality extends far beyond the physical world, exactly as Max Planck suggested. What we're about to reveal next explains why Einstein called quantum entanglement spooky action at a distance, because it violates everything we thought we knew about physical reality. Einstein was deeply troubled by quantum mechanics because it suggested our entire concept of a material universe is fundamentally flawed. If these quantum revelations are blowing your mind, make sure to hit subscribe and like this video. We bring you the most mind-bending scientific discoveries every week that the mainstream media doesn't cover. These aren't just fascinating theories. They're transforming our understanding of existence itself. What do you think? Is reality fundamentally physical or mental? Comment below before we reveal what leading physicists now believe. The uniqueness of quantum information in 1982, physicists Wouters and Zurek proved the no-cloning theorem, a fundamental law showing quantum information cannot be copied perfectly. This isn't just a technical limitation. It's a profound truth about the nature of reality itself. Quantum computing scientist Scott Aronson puts it brilliantly, quantum information doesn't want to be free, it wants to be private. There is a kind of information that's tied to a particular place or set of places. Classical information, like computer files or text messages, can be copied endlessly without degradation. But quantum information is fundamentally different. It's impossible to create an exact duplicate without destroying the original. Each quantum state in the universe is completely unique, a one-of-a-kind event that can never be exactly reproduced. As quantum physicist Arkady Plotnitsky describes it, Every quantum phenomenon is strictly individual and unrepeatable, a singular occurrence in the history of the universe. This mirrors the uniqueness of our conscious experiences. Your perception of the color red is yours alone and can never be perfectly duplicated or shared. Just as quantum states resist perfect copying, 
your subjective experience remains private and unique to you. But the next discovery about how reality forms at the quantum level will completely transform how you see the world around you. It's crazy when you think about it. We can land rovers on Mars and detect black holes billions of light years away. But right here on Earth, many insurance companies still try to lowball people after an accident, like it's the Stone Age. If you ever get seriously hurt, your case could actually be worth millions, which is why you might want a stellar legal team fighting to get you the compensation you deserve. That's why so many people check out Morgan & Morgan, America's largest injury law firm. They don't settle for weak offers. Just recently, they secured $12 million in Florida and $26 million in Philadelphia for injury victims, 30 to 40 times more than what insurance companies first offered. And here's the real-world physics of it. If they don't win, you don't pay. No upfront fees, no hidden charges. It's completely free unless they win your case. They've even modernized the whole process. You can submit your claim and chat with your legal team right from your smartphone. If you ever got seriously injured, your case could be worth millions and you're only a few clicks away from potentially changing your life. It's so easy. You can start your claim now with Morgan & Morgan at www.forthepeople.com slash specialize, found in the description below, or by scanning the QR code on screen. Now let's get back to the video. Observer effect and wave function collapse. The famous double slit experiment reveals something truly mind-bending about reality. When scientists fire particles through two slits, they create an interference pattern on the screen behind, showing they behave like waves going through both slits simultaneously. But here's where it gets truly bizarre. When scientists observe which slit the particles go through, the interference pattern disappears completely. The mere act of observation forces the particles to behave like solid objects going through just one slit. Quantum physicist John Wheeler made an extraordinary statement about this phenomenon. No phenomenon is a real phenomenon until it is an observed phenomenon. This isn't just philosophy. It's backed by rigorous experiments. Wheeler took this even further with his delayed choice experiments. These show that our decision to observe or not observe particles can retroactively determine how those particles behaved in the past. It's as if our choices now are reaching backward in time to affect what already happened. The bombshell implication is unavoidable. Reality doesn't exist in a definite form until it's observed, suggesting observation is fundamental to existence itself. The physical world isn't just sitting there whether we look at it or not. It's being brought into existence through the act of observation. But an even more shocking experiment with human consciousness is forcing scientists to reconsider whether your mind is confined to your brain at all. Near-death experiences and consciousness beyond the brain. Studies of cardiac arrest patients by cardiologist Pim Van Lommel found that 18% reported clear, lucid consciousness when their brain showed no activity. This should be impossible according to conventional neuroscience. Yet the evidence is compelling. One of the most extraordinary cases is that of Pam Reynolds. During brain surgery, her blood was drained from her head, her body temperature was lowered to 60 degrees, and she had no brain activity on EEG monitors. Yet she later accurately described specific surgical tools used and conversations that occurred during the operation, information she couldn't possibly have known through normal means. Van Lommel's conclusion is revolutionary. Between 10 and 20% of cardiac arrest survivors reported an experience of enhanced consciousness during the period of unconsciousness, during clinical death when the brain no longer functions. This directly contradicts what materialist science predicts. When the brain flatlines, consciousness should disappear completely. Yet these patients report enhanced awareness, not diminished. They describe vivid, hyper-real experiences with heightened clarity and insight, while their brains show zero measurable activity. Brain flatline EEG readings show no activity whatsoever. Yet NDE patients report detailed perceptions, thoughts, and memories during these periods. This suggests consciousness can operate independent of brain function. What if your brain doesn't generate consciousness, but receives it, like a TV tunes into a broadcast? The filter theory proposed by philosophers William James and Henry Bergson suggests consciousness is fundamental and your brain acts as a receiver or filter rather than a producer. 
But the most revolutionary discovery about reality comes from understanding how your individual consciousness connects to the entire universe. The Holographic Universe and Brain Your brain operates like a hologram. Each part contains information about the whole. This revolutionary discovery challenges everything we thought we knew about how memories and consciousness work. Neuroscientist Carl Pribram's holonomic brain theory showed that memories aren't stored in specific locations like files in a computer. When Pribram studied patients with brain injuries, he found something remarkable. Removing large portions of brain tissue didn't erase specific memories. Instead, memories remained intact but became less detailed, exactly like what happens when you cut a hologram into pieces. This connects directly to quantum field theory, which shows that every electron in your body is an excitation of the same electron field that extends throughout the universe. The electrons in your brain aren't isolated particles. They're expressions of a unified field that spans all of existence. Physicist David Bohm took this idea to its logical conclusion with his theory of the implicate order. Bohm declared, wholeness is what is real, and the structure of that wholeness is holographic. He proposed that at the deepest level of reality, everything is interconnected. Each part contains the whole, just as each fragment of a hologram contains the entire image. When you break a hologram into pieces, each piece still shows the complete original image, just with less detail. Similarly, each part of your brain, each cell in your body, and potentially each particle in the universe contains information about the whole. This explains why people in deep meditation report feeling connected to everything. They're accessing the holographic nature of reality, when the brain's filtering function is reduced during meditation, people can experience directly what quantum physics and holographic theory suggest. That separation is an illusion, and at the deepest level, everything is unified. Consciousness as fundamental. Leading physicists and neuroscientists are now proposing consciousness is as fundamental as space, time, and energy. This isn't fringe science. It's increasingly recognized as the most elegant solution to quantum physics' deepest puzzles. Max Planck, the father of quantum physics, went even further. Everything that we talk about, everything that we regard as existing, postulates consciousness. He recognized that our entire concept of reality presupposes an aware observer. Without consciousness, you can't even talk about existence in any meaningful way. Integrated information theory developed by neuroscientist Giulio Tononi and supported by Christoph Koch, proposes that consciousness corresponds to integrated information in a system and is a fundamental aspect of reality. This theory suggests consciousness isn't something produced by the brain, but an intrinsic property of reality itself that becomes concentrated in certain complex systems. For decades, physicists have struggled with the measurement problem in quantum physics. Why do quantum possibilities suddenly become definite outcomes when measured? Similarly, neuroscientists face the hard problem of consciousness. How do electrochemical processes in the brain create subjective experiences like the feeling of love or the color blue? The bombshell conclusion more scientists are reaching. Both problems can be solved if consciousness is fundamental to reality itself. If mind isn't produced by matter, but is a basic feature of the universe, then conscious observation naturally resolves quantum superpositions, and subjective experience isn't created by the brain. It's an inherent aspect of reality that the brain taps into. This isn't just philosophy, it's becoming the most compelling framework to explain the scientific data we have about both consciousness and quantum reality. Universal Field of Consciousness Your individual consciousness may be a localized expression of a universal field, like a wave on the ocean. Rather than being produced by your brain, your mind might be a temporary focusing of a much larger consciousness that pervades everything. This idea has deep roots in scientific thought. William James and Henry Bergson proposed the filter theory a century ago, suggesting the brain doesn't generate consciousness, but receives or filters it, like a TV tunes into broadcasts. As philosopher Paul Marshall recently noted, the materialist assumption that consciousness is produced by the brain is on the decline. New theories like panpsychism are on the rise. 
Quantum physicist Erwin Schrödinger, who gave us the famous wave equation, made an astonishing statement about consciousness. In truth, there is only one mind. He believed the apparent separation between individual minds is an illusion. Fundamentally, all consciousness is unified. Individual consciousnesses are like whirlpools in an ocean, temporarily distinct in form, but made of the same substance. Each mind appears separate because it's localized around a particular brain and body, but at the deepest level, all minds are expressions of a single universal consciousness. This doesn't mean our physical reality isn't real. It means it emerges from something even more fundamental, consciousness itself. The physical world isn't an illusion, but it's more like a projection or expression of a deeper conscious reality. Just as Max Planck suggested when he said consciousness is fundamental and matter is derivative. If consciousness is fundamental, then the universe is participatory. We help create reality through observation. This isn't just a philosophical stance. It's supported by quantum mechanics, where measurement determines what's real. As physicist John Wheeler put it, we are participators in bringing into being not only the near and here, but the far away and long ago. This modern scientific understanding parallels ancient wisdom. Eastern philosophies have claimed for millennia that mind precedes matter. The Vedas, Buddha's teachings, and Taoist texts all describe consciousness as the foundation of reality, not merely a byproduct of it. What modern quantum physics is discovering, mystics have been saying for thousands of years. The observer effect demonstrates conclusively that we are not passive spectators, but active participants in the unfolding of physical reality. Every observation you make is literally helping to manifest the physical world around you. We're at the edge of a paradigm shift as monumental as the Copernican Revolution, moving from a matter first to a consciousness first understanding of reality. Just as we once realized Earth wasn't the center of the universe, we're now discovering that matter isn't the foundation of reality. This isn't denying science, it's science evolving to a deeper understanding. If these revelations about the quantum nature of reality fascinated you, you won't want to miss our next video exploring how these discoveries could explain the placebo effect, intuition, and other mysteries that conventional science struggles to understand. Share your thoughts in the comments. Do you think consciousness creates reality or the other way around? Your perspective matters in this ongoing scientific revolution. Subscribe now and turn on notifications to be the first to know when we release more groundbreaking discoveries that will completely transform how you see reality. Each week, we bring you cutting-edge information that mainstream science shows are hesitant to cover.